guys welcome back when we work on the applications in the back end application generates hundreds of files in the log directory and the separate system directories and when we see those files there could be many zero byte files we'll find due to some issues or due to the file not processed there will be many zero byte files even not only the applications even the system files also sometimes gets created the zero byte files gets created so in order to just do the housekeeping in as part of our housekeeping uh, task what we do we need to delete those kind of zero byte files which are deformed means not in use so in this video i'll show you how we can delete all those deformed files or the zero byte files specifically which are not in use if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when i add such videos in my channel so let's start so here in this terminal i have created a folder called demo folder okay and in this folder there are a few files uh, zero byte files you can see here demo.txt which is zero byte file and under this folder we have sub directories logs and apps here also i have created few zero byte files okay now we know how to create the zero byte files right simply you just have to type touch and then file name suppose i'll give us demo1.txt now if i just check it here we have two more files here one demo and another one demo1.txt so two zero byte files so if i just do here now as you can see here for the demo purposes i have created this particular directory demo directory and here you can easily see the files so sometimes if i just go back to this folder in my desktop folder and if i just type find right dot so dot means from the current so here i'm going to use the find command to find the zero byte file and delete it so in one single command we can achieve whatever we want, right? So what I'm going to do here, find dot means from current directory, from the desktop directory, whatever rest of the directories are there, it will search there and find out the zero byte files, right? So what you have to do now, use the other options called hyphen site zero. Okay, now let's print what are the zero byte files are there, hyphen print. So if I hit enter here, now you can see these are the files which are zero bytes. These are the files which are zero byte files. You can see here how many zero bytes files are there in my system, right? In my system, how many zero byte files are there? So to remove these zero byte files, so what we can do now? So let's go back to our demo directory. I don't want to disturb these zero byte files because uh, uh, for as part of the housekeeping, there is a job which will automatically take care of this. Okay. Now, what I going to do? Let's go back to the demo directory here. Let's clear the screen. And here, if I execute the same command, so you can see here how many there are four zero byte files available in this folder as well as in the sub directories or this directory. Right. So what I can do here? Uh, now, I have done to print it. Now let's write hyphen exec, right? To delete or remove a file, the Linux command is rm. And then what we have to do? Curly braces starts and ends. And then backward slash, then semicolon here, right? So what it will do, it will first find the files with zero byte, size zero bytes. And then with hyphen exec options, it's passing this all the in, uh, files whatever being find here to this exec through exec it comes to rm and whatever files will be gets it will get deleted now if i just hit enter here see now let's go and check whether the files are there or not see no zero byte files are there no zero byte files are there okay to check whether it also deletes the other files or not let's create a file vi demo dot txt and keep some data here okay suppose test data something i just kept it here i kept it here okay now and now next create another file which is zero white file okay sorry 
it should be touch T O U C H. Now we have two files, one zero byte files, another has some data inside it. So if I just execute the same command again, let's see what is happening. So it just gives us only demo1.txt. So let's execute the RM command with the find. Then, so if I just check it here, nothing is there. So our file, see, demo.txt is available with the data. So this is how you have to do the housekeeping work if you're working on any kind of automations or any kind of productions, application support, it will be helpful for you to do the housekeeping. Hope you understood clearly. Uh, I'll come up with such kind of small videos and small commands which can be useful for you to do practice as well as implementing your project. If you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer first. Thank you.